What's up guys? I can't believe I'm saying it already, but we're at the end of 2016, so you know what that means. It's time for the year-end wrap-up video. I'd like to start this video by talking about how many subscribers I've gained throughout the year of 2016. In the beginning of the year, I had about 17,200, and now approaching the end of 2016 here, I have about 34,762 subscribers. So that's a total gain of about 17,562. So I'd really like to thank everybody who has joined me throughout the year of 2016, and I'd like to thank everybody who was with me prior to the year of 2016. I also put out about 36 videos this year, with my favorite probably being the part one and two, how to build a wooden scooter. I really like the way that project came out and it was just kind of a crazy idea I had in my head. I'm really happy with how that project came out and I really like the uh, overall concept of making things out of wood that aren't typically seen to be made out of wood. So it's just kind of something fun that I like to do and hopefully I get to do a few more of those projects in the year 2017 as well. So throughout the year of 2016, I tried to make a few different updates to my channel. The first would be to my website. I once again went ahead and overhauled the entire website. It has a completely different look than it had at the end of 2015, but I'm really happy with the way this one came out. A few reasons for updating it was because it wasn't extremely mobile friendly. It was really hard to navigate when you're on a mobile device. When you were on a computer, it was fine, but hopefully I fixed that by updating it to the way it is now. Plus, I like the more modern look that I have on it right now as well. I may make a few minor tweaks to it this year, but nothing as big as overhauling the entire website once again. So that was a really big change compared to last year. I also took a chance this year to update some of my videos from the past. The main reason was a lot of them that I updated weren't high definition and one of them was for purely cosmetic looks. I wanted it to look a little bit nicer. Those were uh, the ping pong paddle. I made that in standard definition. I also made the, um, what was it? The trophy, a wooden trophy, I redid that one. That one's now in HD. I also redid my longboard and penny board videos, so those were in HD. And as you guys know, not too long ago, I remade my lumber racks just for cosmetic looks. Once again, nothing was wrong with them, but I just wanted to try to give it a little bit nicer look to it. So I'm really happy with how all five of those projects came out. And the updates this year, I think were a pretty good success. So let's go ahead and take a look into the future of 2017. I have a big change coming to my channel and it may not come to a surprise for most of you guys, but I am gonna be taking away the weekly videos and it's for a few reasons, but the main one being I just can't deliver on weekly videos anymore. I'm running out of time and with college, I can't, I can't keep up with what I used to be able to keep up with when I was in high school. Just, I don't, I don't have enough time anymore, so I'm gonna have to get rid of that aspect, but hopefully it's for the better. Now I can focus on quality videos over quantity, and when I come home on the weekends, I don't have to worry about getting the project done all in one weekend. So I'll, I'll, I'll hopefully be able to make a lot bigger projects, better projects, better videos, better quality. So hopefully this is gonna be a positive change instead of seeing it as a negative thing. I, there will be less videos, but hopefully when they do come out, they'll be a lot better than they were in the past. So hopefully that's something that uh, you guys can look forward to. Even though you're not gonna have a video every week, I am gonna be uh, experimenting with a bunch of different kind of videos and stuff. So hopefully we'll have some great content for you guys in the future here. On the bright side, for Christmas I did receive a Harbor Freight dust collector and I'm really excited to get that out here in my shop. However, I'm not going to be bringing that into my shop until I convert it to a two-stage dust collector just because I don't even think it's uh, worth getting it all dusted up and dirty before I actually go ahead and convert it. So when, when I convert it, I want to have it nice, brand new, and clean looking. So that's probably going to be one of the first videos of 2016 is converting a one-stage dust collector into a two-stage dust collector, and I'm really excited about that. I'm also going to be coming out with a um, probably a dust collection system video in my uh, shop as well here. So I want to basically make a, uh, a brand new workbench along this wall and it's going to be, it's not really a miter station but it kind of is at the same time. It's, it's hard to explain, I have the designs all made for that. So it's just a matter of getting the money to buy the plywood because I need about six or so sheets. So I need to get the money for that and then I'm going to make those videos. I'm going to make workbench videos, brand new stuff like that 
and I'm really gonna get the dust collection in my shop going here so hopefully I can get a lot of those videos done in the beginning of the year so then at the end of the year I'll have really good dust collection throughout my shop and I'll be all set with that. So that's my primary focus of 2017 is getting the dust collection under control because right now when I look on the ground there's just sawdust everywhere. The shop vac doesn't really cut it anymore so I'm trying to move up to bigger and better things in the shop. So dust collection is my main focus of 2017 here. One more thing I'd like to set for the future of 2017 is my subscriber goal and that's going to be to double my subscribers from 34,000 to 68,000. So that is a big goal, that's my biggest goal I've ever set forward so far, but I would really like to reach it. If I don't, no big deal, but I'm gonna work my butt off to really try to get there. So hopefully by the end of the year, I'll be just below 70,000 subs. So that's the big goal for 2017, and uh, hopefully we can, uh, we can all reach it together. The last thing I'd like to do here in 2016 is give a big thank you to everybody who has been a part of my channel and has supported me. My family, my friends, everybody I know has had a uh, really positive outcome for my channel. They've really helped support me and make me the best that I can be. So I'd like to thank everybody who has supported me and I'd also like to thank all of you guys, my fans, for leaving comments, liking my videos, sharing them, and all that good stuff week in and week out. I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me throughout the year of 2016 and I, uh, I'm so thankful to be a part of this great woodworking community on YouTube. And I can't forget to thank Rockler for sending me all those tools towards the beginning of the year. They once again have sent me a, uh, a small gift package here and it's just, I'm not going to go over all of them, but they've, they've really helped support my woodworking channel and I really appreciate it. So if you guys go ahead and check out Rockler, it's a great website. I've had a great time working with them and hopefully I'll be able to work with them in the future here as well. I'm just going to go over a few things they sent me because I don't really want to turn this into a... Uh, a big video about what they sent me, but they sent me a lot of organization stuff, a clamp on light, and then um, they also sent me these. This is gonna be great for organization. That's kind of my big focus right now is getting my shop totally organized and dust collection and all that stuff. So they sent me a lot of organization stuff here as well. And the last thing I'm gonna look at is um, they sent me a digital tape measure. I thought that was really cool. So I do wanna try this out in the future here, but that's probably the most exciting thing I've seen. I mean, I don't even know they've had these, but that's, uh, that's a really cool gift. So I'd like to thank Rockler for everything they've done for me this year. And I'd like to thank everybody else as well. So thank you guys for a successful year in 2016. And I can't wait for more woodworking videos in the year of 2017 as well. So until next time, I hope you guys all have a safe and happy new year.